Welcome back to Yum Yum Tally. My name is Rachel. In today's video, it's gonna be a special one because we have a guest, my husband. Because today, he is going to show us how he makes his Louisiana style gumbo in a shortcut. Because normally, gumbo takes a whole day of cooking. But with him, with his recipe, he's gonna show us how to make it in less than two hours. So you're ready? Let's go to our kitchen and let's begin cooking. Here are the ingredients or ang ating mga sangkap to make this very scrumptious soup. Louisiana style gumbo are as follows. Chicken broth, roast or rotisserie chicken, Sausage, onions, imitation crab meat, bell pepper, flour, cooking oil, creole seasoning, green onions, celery, bay leaves, Seasoning powder, garlic, water, salt, and pepper. Okay, guys, so turn on your heat to medium. And then we're going to let the pot to heat up a little bit. And then we're going to put our cooking oil. The pot is heated and we are going to put our cooking oil. We are going to start uh, make our roux. Okay, so now we're going to have to let this cooking oil heated before we can put our flour. Okay guys, so after two minutes of heating up our cooking oil, we are now going to add our flour. And once you add this one, make sure you stir it, okay? Do not stop stirring or it's going to burn. And here we go. And my husband's going to stir it. That's perfect. And make sure you stir it constantly, non-stop on this method, okay? This is making the roux or making our sauce. And this is the beginning of it. So just keep stirring. And if you notice there's some lumps, just break it. And we are going to cook this roux until it turns like dark chocolate. It's not going to be burnt, but dark brown, okay? So I will see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so after five minutes, this is what our roux looks like. We are not even close to being done. But if you notice, there is some browning. The flour is getting put together. Oh, um, and smells so good. That is what we want. See that roux, how it, the flour is like thickening up? That is what we're looking for. But we have to keep going until it turns into chocolate, okay? But do not burn, so make sure you continue stirring your roux. So, eight minutes now, and as you can see, it started to turn brown. That's what we are almost there. Probably 10 to 12 minutes to make this roux, okay? And do not burn it. If you burn it, you have to start over. Because you don't want your gumbo tasting like bitter okay we don't want a bitter gumbo we want our gumbo taste oh so good so make sure you constantly stirring that roux because that's what makes it taste so awesome 11 minutes and this is what we're looking for have you noticed it turns dark brown so now we are going to put our broth okay so here we go Ooh. here we go 
all of our broth is going. I'm sorry with all that smoke, but I tell you what, this is how it is. Okay guys, so after our broth, then now we are gonna put our water. We are cooking for the whole battalion, so please bear with us. But if you're just gonna make a, you know, um, a small batch, you can just cut your ingredients, okay? Because this one is for, I think it's for the whole entire neighborhood. You can turn your heat to high. And then after we dissolve all of our flour in our broth and water, I am going to add our seasoning powder. Okay, after dissolving our seasoning powder, we are now going to add our onions. Just like so. So this is like dunking everything in. Make sure your hands are clean and washed. So here's your onions. Here is your bell pepper. Here we go bell pepper goes and next is our celery and then our creole seasonings okay guys so we are not going to put all of our creole seasoning we are gonna save half of it and we're gonna try to cook this one first and if we need to season it again then we have some available we are going to put our black pepper we are not going to put our salt right now because we want to make sure that everything is cooked first before we put our salt. So while we're waiting for it to simmer, we are going to put our bay leaves. Do not break your bay leaves. It's easier for you to catch it later to fish. <laughs> and then we are going to add our chicken. This chicken is the rotisserie chicken you can buy in a store. And I just removed the bones. And then now it's going to go in. There's no particular cut. You, you can be like big chunks. It's all right. And then with this, it's going to cook at least an hour. So all of that goes in. And at least cook for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So that everything is softened. It will taste really, really good. So guys, it's been 10 minutes. And as you can see, it started to simmer. We are going to stir it quite a bit just to make sure that there's nothing burning at the bottom and also so we can continuously stir all our seasoning and our soup. Mm -hmm, that looks yumminess. This is, as I said, it is good for the whole battalion. <laughs> That's how we cook at home because we want to make sure that we have enough save. So anytime you want some, you can just take it out of the freezer and heat it up for a fresh, awesome, delicious, wonderful soup. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to keep stirring these. There you go. And then I will let it see and it's going to boil again and I will let it just simmer and boil and all i had to do is come in every so often and stir it and then let it go again and then stir it again probably around five to eight minutes or at least 10 minutes so we hit our 20 minutes mark so i am going to stir it and as you can see it started to soften our bell pepper and our onions and ooh, smells so good, guys. I wish you were here to smell this. It is awesome. Shout out to all our Yum Yum Telly family members. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're enjoying our video. And if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by clicking that red subscribe button below so you can become part of our Yum Yum Telly family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, guys, don't forget to like and share our videos. And don't forget to click that bell notification button so you can get notified every time I upload a new videos. Thank you, guys, and enjoy watching. So after an hour, 
our chicken and our celery onions are now softened and the next thing we are going to do is put the rest of our ingredients now we are going to add our crab meat this is imitation crab meat you can use the regular or the fresh crab meats if you like but this one is imitation and we are let me stir it after we put our crab meat we are now our imitation crab meat we are now going to put our sausage just like so this guys is so good especially on winter or rainy days or just any time that you want some good soup this is the way to do it okay it doesn't take long to make and it tastes so 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 good okay so now i stir our sausage our crumb meat and then now i'm gonna put our green onions and our garlic so garlic goes last there you go and we're gonna stir these and now that all of our meat is in we are going to let it cook for 30 to 45 minutes and we are done okay guys we reached the 15 minutes mark and look how gorgeous that is what i called gumbo <laughs> it doesn't take long to make it only takes us like an hour and a half or close to two hours including cutting your veggies your meat but look what it looks like and i tell you what this is looking so gorgeous look at that hello gorgeous so after 30 minutes i am going to taste it let me go get it from the bottom so i don't taste the oil mm, it's good already so we are going to put the salt right now and this is our final seasoning and we're gonna stir it and wait five minutes and we have our gumbo here you go guys our finished product louisiana style gumbo it is best served with rice and a best partner for fried chicken and potato salad this smells so good let's try Ooh, I want to try that sausage just like so mm. it's just awesome look at those chicken but let's try the soup mm, that is so good it is best during the winter you have this hot gumbo soup or any day so you just want some soup a really good one too i hope you enjoy our video today thank you for watching until next time maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood hanggang sa muli keep smiling be safe happy cooking and god bless bye guys enjoy Hi guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.